Hey nesters, welcome back to Nesting Haven. If you're new here, welcome to this thrift along with me. I like to take people thrifting along with me, particularly at Goodwill. I like to kind of virtually let you do some shopping. I know it's a little bit hard for some people to get out, especially now, to be able to thrift. So I like to do my videos in a way where it feels like you're thrifting yourself. So I hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, so just sit back, relax, and enjoy this thrifting trip. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button as you're watching here so you guys can catch more Thrift Along With Me videos in the future. I thought this was a really neat find. It is shaped like the United States and it used to hold souvenir spoons. I was considering picking it up. All of these spoons were kind of rusted out though, which was kind of weird. I wasn't quite sure what happened there. But the board itself was really neat. It was something I had set in the cart for a little bit and I thought about I decided to put it back because I wasn't quite sure if anyone was really into these souvenir spoon things anymore. So. I don't know. It was a cool find though. I hope someone can get it and enjoy it. They had this beautiful coat rack here, it was super heavy, but it had this like Capa de Monte style florals on it and I just thought it was a really neat piece, but yeah, it was really heavy. I was excited to spy this beautiful artwork piece down here. It's a painting of some florals. I like to decorate with florals on my wall, especially anything that's painted or like a cruel item. So this was right up my alley for sure. And fortunately on the back side, it was marked $13. They had a handpicked selection tag on it. It wasn't in the handpicked area, so someone had set it over there. I just thought this was really stunning though, so. I was definitely on the fence of whether I should pay the 13 for it or not. It was pretty, pretty great. They had this really great advertisement piece here from a McCall's 
magazine, I would guess. It had the Johnson baby oil and baby powder with a mom there with her two kids. I thought that was really cute. Now you guys can't really tell, but from the angle I was at, at the very top, I could see out of the very corner you see right here, I could tell there was a cruel or some kind of a needlework piece up there buried. And it was this amazing piece. I absolutely love this. This will be going in my kitchen. I of course picked this up. I believe it was up there on the top shelf hidden. I think someone purposely hid it up there, like an employee or something. I'm pretty sure they were trying to keep me from buying it. <laughs> But yeah, I found it. <laughs> Hide and seek champion ward goes to me. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen when people take different silhouette pictures like this and they do a gallery wall along their entire stairwell? It looks so cool. I'm not really into the silhouette pictures myself, but when they group them all together like that, I think it looks super neat. So if you have a stairwell in your home, I know those areas are kind of difficult to decorate. I have one in my own home. So that's an idea if you like the silhouette pictures. Definitely might be something you'd be interested in collecting. If you are new to my channel, I do have two little boys and this is one of my favorite places to find toys for them. They have this huge Imagine Next set for only $3. They, I obviously got this for them and they actually have played with it and they really enjoy it. So that was a super score for them. I've always wanted to learn how to sew. I do not know how to sew. I don't own a sewing machine. If I did, I feel like this is the one I would want. That looks like the Mac Daddy of all sewing machines. Look at that beautiful robin's egg blue color. That looks fantastic. I wouldn't know the first thing about, you know, the shape of it, if it worked, what I'd need to do to fix it. So I did not get it, but uh, I hope someone definitely found that and is able to repair it or do whatever it needs because it is an amazing piece.
They had this beautiful Satsuma dragon wear set here. Really neat. It's not really my style, but I definitely appreciated it. It's very artistic, very detailed, very cool piece. This art piece was really neat. I think it'd look really great if someone had a little movie room in their basement or something like that. I have never come across the book like this before where it's kind of divided in half like this. It was a little difficult to open up with one hand so I wasn't really able to. I was trying to figure out a date. There is a zip code down there on the back which means it's you know later than 1963. The zip code never existed before 1963 so I know it's at least you know 63 on up but yeah I thought that was really neat. Have you guys ever seen a book like that before? This is a beautiful Fenton opalescent blue glass vase here. They were asking $13 for it. There is never a shortage of Stephen King books here. I It's not really my thing, but they have plenty <laughs> since he is from this area. You guys know I always like to look at the cookbook section. I wasn't finding too much. I saw this one, the title scared me a little bit as to what might be inside, so I did go ahead and look through it real quick. I did end up purchasing it. I'm not really a drinker, but I thought it was a cool piece of history. It had a lot of neat recipes. I thought someone that had a bar cart would really appreciate having this, so I picked it up to resell. I thought it was kind of cool. Let me know in the comments what item you saw in this thrift along with me was your favorite, what you would have picked up today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you catch the haul of everything I picked up today in tomorrow's video. And we'll see you then guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.